evening. Welcome to another episode of the Mad Darberry Post-Apocalyptic Theater Movie Reviews. Tonight, the Little Warrior and I went out to see Birds of Prey, or the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Right off the bat, it's another screwed up movie, just like the Joker, right? Is it worth the 12 bucks to go see it? Yes. Is it going to win an Oscar? No. Is it going to win a, like an Oss? No. But it will win a Skull, because it was that good. So the movie starts out, right? Remember, it's Harley Quinn, and she's batshit crazy, right? It starts out, Harley Quinn is introducing herself in her post-Joker world. Basically, she broke up with the Joker. Not a smart thing to do, but, you know, he batted it around a little bit. Hence, with the bat, long story. All right. So, it begins, and basically the whole movie is over a diamond that some little kid ate, right? And the whole gist of the movie is he's trying to get the little girl to poop the diamond out, right? So she can give it to the mob boss, which is Black Mask. And let me tell you something. If you guys read the comics, you know who Black Mask is? This guy was no ma Black Mask, right? He was... And that part of the movie, all right. So, basically, and what she does, piece by piece, she picks up little birds for her birds of prey. One's Renee Montoya. You guys know from the comics, she's a cop. She's Hispanic, and she's like no bullshit cop. Great character. Later played her, played her older version of it. Mm, yeah, it was all right, all right? Then they had, excuse me, is one girl who was playing Black Canary, right? Her name, and she was pretty much the character from the comics, right? But she could sing. Oh my God. They had her singing in the Black Bass Club. And let me tell you, woo! It was some good singing, right? Then they had the Huntress. Now, if you know the story of the Huntress, Huntress is the daughter of a mob boss, right? And then she turns into. Um, a Batman-type clone to go fight, right? Get the bad guys, all that BS, right? Get people to kill her, her dad and her family, right? She was pretty good. The whole, she couldn't get out and tell her name. Kind of, eh, but, so, right, they had action sequences where they're fighting. And they, let me tell you, they were chore chore choreographed, choreographed very well. Right, you had Harley Quinn jumping around. Yeah, and then basically the big fight scene at the end is the four birds, right, and the little girl who still hadn't pooped out the diamond yet. So they get in this huge fight, and they're fighting Black Mask, and they're fighting the cops, and they're fighting everybody. And Harley Quinn gets on roller skates, and she's riding through town. It's all like one big crazy, screwed up fight scene which was fantastic to watch. Then it gets down to the end, and the guy who played Black Mask, spoiler alert, gets his ass blown up. Which is kind of good, because if they actually have the Black Mask in a regular Batman movie, I don't want that guy playing the Black Mask. He was horrible. All right, the Black Mask is a badass. He's sort of like the Joker, but the mob boss kind of Joker. All right, so. All said and done, what do you think? What do I think? Let me tell you what I think, right? I give it four skulls of my enemies out of five. It's a worth watch. It's a great Valentine's movie to go take your date to, right? Enjoy. It's the Mad Darberry 